Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Wednesday, so it's what you're working on Wednesday. Um, I got laundry going in the background, so it's probably loud, <laughs> but uh, hashtag real life. Anyways, I also got a laundry basket right here of towels I have to fold after I record this video. But um, right here's my, my uh, six day kids blanket. It's actually done, but I'll show you guys that in the next No Catchy Name episode. Anyways, today I'm sitting here. I'm just relaxing. I got a lot of like laundry. I got three loads of laundry to do and some random house cleaning that I got to do. And uh, in between all that, <laughs> I am just crocheting um, and watching YouTube videos. I'm watching YouTube videos on my TV. And I'm also, I got my laptop with a pattern on it. And this pattern is a free pattern by uh, Suzanne at God Crochet and Chatter. She has a YouTube channel. She has two YouTube channels actually. She has that one and then she has one called As the Spirit Moves. I'll link them both below. And uh, she has a tutorial on her YouTube channel of how to make this. And it's a cute little, let me grab my candy cane from my tree. It is like a snuggy horse thing <laughs> for a candy cane. And uh, I just started this one. I'm working on it while watching TV. So I got its head <laughs> and its ears. I gotta do its mane and I gotta figure out something to do for eyeballs because she uses googly eyes. I don't have any of those on hand. So uh, I have safety eyes and I can stitch on eyes or something. I don't know, I haven't figured it out. I haven't gotten that far. <laughs> this is really bright red. This is a scrap ball of, I think it's Red Heart Super Saver. It's called like Red Hot or Hot Rod or something like that. <laughs> it's really bright red heart yarn. So um, yeah, I just got the edge here closed up. So now I've got to put all the little hair on there and then figure out eyeballs. <laughs> and, uh, oh, and the, um, the reins. I gotta make the little reins that hooks to its nose and down. But uh, I've, she's been showing these a lot lately and I've been wanting to make some and I just haven't had the opportunity to. So I thought today, since I don't have much going on here at the house, <laughs> I would um, whip out some. I made this one super quick. It's like a few minutes long. <laughs> um, project super quick I'm planning on making a whole bunch of them now because <laughs> I really enjoyed making this it was really cute and quick and I think once it's all done it's gonna be super cute so I'm gonna make a bunch more I don't know I'll, I'll sit down and count how many people I need to make them for and then I think I'm gonna give one to everybody in my family um, this year for Christmas my in-laws side and my my family side and uh, probably make a few extra for us to keep here for um, decoration because we always like to buy candy canes and put them on the tree so that we can just grab them off and eat them uh, <laughs> whatever we want so we have some regular ones we have the blue raspberry ones and we have some of the striped ones I don't remember what flavor they are these ones I think they're cherry and something else I don't know <laughs> but um, we got three pick different ones Devin likes the blue raspberry ones I like the regular ones and Jesse likes the multicolor ones. But anyways, uh, I thought this would just be a cute little project to gift to people and have for our home decoration. I love little classic patterns like this. Um, I guess some people would call it like old fashioned or uh, corny or whatever. These and like the little, um, you know, just the little weird things that you hang around for Christmas, like our grandmothers used to have hanging up. But I love that because it reminds me of traditional Christmases and uh, it reminds me of my childhood. And uh, I found a pattern recently for some of the old timey, I think it's called vintage candles. And I remember seeing those. And actually my father-in-law has a couple of those that someone in his family made, crocheted. And I found that pattern. If I can even remember, I will link that below too. And I, I wanna make some of those eventually just to have setting around to uh, look pretty. But yeah, so this is what I'm working on today. Cute little horse. <laughs> and I'm planning on making a bunch more. Uh, I just grabbed red randomly a Christmas color, but I'm gonna dig around in my scrap balls over there and see if I can find some more Christmassy colors, maybe just some browns. And then I can make their, um, what's it called again? Rains? A, uh, you know, bright Christmassy color. I just went with red. <laughs> so it's a red horse, but that's okay. Uh, anyways, so let me guys, let me know what you guys are working on in the comments below. Feel free to link any patterns or videos or anything like that. If you have a YouTube channel, whatever, just link it below <laughs> and let us all know what you guys are working on today and this week. It is nine days until Christmas. And so, um, I don't, I'm not really working on any gifts. I was working on gifts yesterday. It's right there, but I'm not going to show it until I mail it off to the person who's getting it. And, um, it's cute. It turned out pretty cute. <laughs> But, um, yeah, so the, I guess these are Christmas gifts, but these will whip out really fast, so I'm not worried about it. But that's what I'm working on today, other than laundry. Ugh, I hate laundry. And we're only three people, and we have so much laundry all the time. I don't know where it comes from, but uh, I got to get it done. I got to clean all this stuff up. <laughs> but I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.